Hey guys, this is the Redstone Wizard here again, and I'm bringing you another Let's Play in my world. Alright, well, yeah, it's been a while since I've even uh, recorded in my world because work was getting in the way, and work takes precedence over Minecraft. Hey, you gotta live. Yeah, I set up a sugarcane farm, single, uh, single cell, so to speak. Exactly how I made it on the tutorial. I just need to let this one grow up one more and then I'll get a bunch of sugar cane. Ow. Yeah, let's get to this pop in the bed real fast. Yeah, and sometimes I even, honestly, sometimes I forget what I've done. But I've been working on trying to get these uh, shulker boxes loaded up. I got this one completely loaded for z uh, for quad zero. Break it. I'm waiting for the actually, honestly, with the uh, new update that's coming out, I'm waiting to handle that with the uh, iron farm. So I'm just going to right now abandon the iron farm project. Wait for the next update. And I'll figure out an iron farm for you guys and figure it and, and actually get it going. But while I was working, I oh, while I was uh, looking at certain things, yeah, let's come over here because I actually ended up going to uh, Chunk Base which is anytime I'm curious about certain things and finding that where is it okay there's that one and yeah because I placed a cobblestone down for the ah, there it is because I've got a uh, double slime chunk right here so Here's the corner of one chunk, which I'll build out about four block, oh, about five blocks that way. And then I've got the other one down there, which I'll have to clear this water out, clear, uh, barricade and clear water out from there and get it all the way down to bedrock because, well, when you do a slime farm, you want it at bedrock. <laughs> So I've got a uh, simple uh, TNT du uh, duplication flying machine that I'm going to use that will take a while to clear this out because of how high I have to build it up. Let's see here, I'm at 79 and then yeah, let's head over to the highest point in this slow, this area. Oh, forgot some food. Well, let's just pop over here real fast. Okay, one, two, three. Yeah, I'll do it right here. We're at 91, so I'll have to build it up to Y. 117, uh, 100, yeah, actually Y107, yeah, build it up to Y107, turn, the, and get that water shut off, yeah, so we'll get the uh, slime farm, uh, yeah, I figured I might as well build a slime farm while we're uh, waiting for the next update. It might be three or four months, and that's uh, my best guess. Yeah, you can't quote me on that because it's just a guess. There's nothing major about it. But as soon as we get the uh, update, I'm going to start a brand new world because the update, anytime console gets an update, it changes so much. So. As soon as we get an update, I'm actually going to reset and start a brand new world and play from the beginning with that update. So, let me uh, see if I can uh, get some of the resources together for. I will actually start clearing that out. Alright, I'll be right back with you guys. 
Hey guys, I'm back, and after I was looking at my resources and whatnot, I decided to, well, I needed a beacon. So, to get the beacon, we gotta get us uh, two more skulls. So, we're here in the uh, fortress that we found early on, and we're just gonna be running around and well, obviously look for wither skeletons, but difference is I've got a looting three sword now, which means it should be a lot easier to get them. So let's just take some uh, looks around here, see if we could find one or two skeletons. Uh, let's head back this way. I think that was a skeleton I saw. Yep. Oh, no blocks. <laughs> yeah, I prefer doing it this way because I don't like getting killed. At all. Bones and char- oh, bones and coal, bones and coal. Eh, I have a uh, knockback, so it should be a little easier to handle them. So I'll try it without putting that, uh, putting, up, putting up the bar. All right. Ooh. Blaze rods. Any up top? Oh, damn it. Oh. Forgot these guys split. Alright, well, head back down here. Alright, let's see here. Let's keep. Yeah, you know, this ain't that large of another fortress. I should go to where I have uh, the Blaze Farm at. Because that's a little bigger one. It has a uh, actual crossroads, which might actually help us out a bit. But I don't feel like flying over there. <laughs> and flying over there in this is a lot harder because I'd have to figure out where to go from there. <laughs> So, oh, let's see here, uh, yeah, well, I'll be back when I get some, uh, more, uh, get some more blaze, uh, more, uh, wither skeletons. Okay, guys, I'm back, I came back from the nether, it's been actually a couple of days since I've actually, uh, played in this, and, uh, unlucky with the wither skeleton skulls right now. So... What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to head back in there because, well, I want to get a beacon. I want to get a fully powered beacon just because. No other reason. Yeah, so back into the portal. Downfall to this, uh, well, the way I have this set up is... Because yeah. down here was our old where our old portal is and getting to the uh, fortress we gotta do uh, one long walk and it's not as bad as when I oh, with one of the witch farm oh, with one of the uh, witches I found but yeah it's still pretty bad Because the fortress is over this way. Oh. Yeah. I have an entrance here. I didn't realize that that was there. And. Yeah, so. Ooh. Oh, I don't like the zombie pigment. 
They creep me out, especially the babies. Okay, so continuing on with the weather skeleton hunt because of beacon. So let's see how lucky we can get here. Yeah, I wish I had a bigger nether fortress right here. I could probably head to the other one, but that one requires me to go a good distance away. And then once I leave, I gotta come back. So we'll just uh, handle this one right here for now. See if we can uh, get her, let's say, uh, with a skeleton. Like this guy right here. Nope. No skull. Coal though. We can always use more coal. So. We yeah, found out this part is connected so. I've made a quick tunnel that way. <laughs> yeah. But I just const I just run around the same path. Get some blazes over here. Hmm. No idea where they're at. But yeah, so I'm probably just going to continue doing this for a while because we need because. Uh, well, everybody needs at least one beacon. Oh yeah, come on. Bones in, out. Oh. oh, looks like I'm eating raw beef. Oh, I like steak. So, yeah. Continue running around and getting what we can. Yeah. A couple of times I actually found a weather skull, oh, weather skeleton up in the blaze blaze area up over here. Yeah, I can mine that quartz, but I'm not going to. Not unless I block off that, uh, unless I make this completely despawnable. Okay, no weather skeletons there. No weather skeletons there. Been all over this fortress looking for things. Oh, weather skeletons at least. So, yeah, go back on up. There's another one. We can get lucky pretty here. Because we got one. We just need two more. Okay. Well, this is going to get boring for you guys. I know. I hate with the skeleton hunting. They're paying, and they don't like to cooperate. So, I'll be right back with you guys as soon as I uh, get a weather skeleton. I'll be recording, but I'm going to cut a lot of this out. Alright? Bye. All right, I'll be right with you guys in a moment. Okay, guys. I just got one. I'm not in the same nether, but I'm, well, not in the same nether fortress, but I just got myself another skull, so let's go put this in a safe spot for now. Yeah, blazes, magma cubes, not many uh, wither skeletons are giving up good loot. Yeah, if you guys didn't notice, I'm actually in the uh, Nether Fortress 
with our uh, double blaze spawner. Skull in there. Yeah. Okay. Now let's go and find some more. As soon as I get the third one, I'll bring you guys back in. Hey guys. Yeah, I'm back. I, uh, <coughs> after I got the Wither Skull, I, <laughs> I got overzealous and accidentally double tapped on the, uh, uh, my record so ended up uh, not recording any of it and but yeah now we got three wither skeleton skulls so now all we need to do is find where to place that soul sand ah Uh, let's get some of this stuff out of here. Iron, iron, diamonds, redstone, emeralds, and uh, bronze lapis. There we go. Yeah, so I'm going to get to the roof of the nether. And I'm going to bring some bamboo with me. We'll create a, a cave to kill the wither. And... Oh, yeah. We need to grab three skulls. Create a cave to kill the wither. And... Cheese it. So... Here we go. Get, I'm going to go. That, I'll bring you guys back in when I get to that point. Okay, guys, I'm here. In fact, I didn't have to go very far. Started digging around trying to find the one type of formation I would want. Now, I'd like to have as many. Uh, barrier blocks to uh, prevent the weather from escaping, but yeah. But let's uh, just break this one because this is the one we have to break. So get the bamboo, place it, and grow it. There we go. And they say swords are supposed to be faster. At least according to the wiki. Okay, now uh, I need to create a little more space. So yeah, so let's just place the wither right here. Hmm. Is this a better one? Yeah, trying to find the perfect spot to get the wither is the trick. In fact, actually, oh, that was one lower. Ooh. Yeah. So I'll just actually continue looking around, seeing if I can find the spot that. Never mind, found it. Because we need at least. Oh no, that's not bedrock. Well, if that was bedrock, that would be perfect, because then he wouldn't be able to escape. But yeah, I'm going to look around, see what I can find, <laughs> see if I can find the one that I actually would prefer to use. And once I get to that point, 
I'll bring you guys right back in. It'll probably just end up uh, being right here. In fact, actually, yeah, it's going to be right here. So, dig up our sand again, or dirt, I mean. Place. Yep. Nice thing is we only need one piece of bone meal to break bedrock. I just need to break this one right here and then we'll spawn the wither in. So yeah I actually made a video as soon as this update happened on how to break bedrock using bamboo. So, yeah, and this actually also can work as a wither killing station. Let's get an easy way out. Good thing I got all these bones from oh, with me. Because you can't once you bone meal once, you can't bone meal it again. I stand corrected. I was able to oh, maybe there was just a gap there. Okay, there we go. Now Okay, so we go one, two, three. And I'm running down here. <laughs> He's gonna blow up. And start taking damage. And we are perfectly safe right here because he can't damage us. He is buried in that block right there. So we'll just let him die. In fact, we'll help it along. So, yeah. Oh, shit. Beat the wither. And got the nether star. Now, if I wanted to, I'd set this up with a farm. This exact spot and bust that one right there. And be able to push blocks into his head. But, maybe later. But let's go and first off, go to sleep. <laughs> but yeah, quick, easy way to beat the wither. But hey, you know what? We got the nether star. Woot! Okay, so for a beacon, we need obsidian. Where's my obsidian? I don't even remember if I actually have any extras. <laughs> I don't remember seeing any in here. Uh, well, I'll be right back with you guys as soon as I get everything. Together, we'll craft the beacon. We'll set it up and there we go be right back okay guys I'm back took me a moment to well, get the uh, obsidian I had to 
go through every single shulker box I have. And yeah, I'm going to figure out a better storage system. I'm probably going to go with the standard uh, item sorter. <laughs> and tear this thing down, but figure something out that will actually help me out more. But yeah, well, as you can see, I got everything we need in my in my hot bar for the beacon. So let's start the crafting. And oh, the beacon. We have a beacon. Now the next thing is we need iron. Well, let's see here. Yeah, because this system takes a little too long. Now we need to smelt up that iron. So let's go to the basics smelter. Smelt this up. Or I might have to go mining for some more iron because I don't think I have enough iron to <laughs> yeah I not make a fully powered one. Yeah. I can tell you I don't right away just by uh, looking at this don't even have a stack no 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 uh, gold not enough no nope. well looks like I'm gonna have to go mining so yeah as soon as I get enough iron to make it I will be back with you guys oh well that's gonna finish up yeah I'll be back with you guys and we will craft a fully powered beacon be back in a moment well moment for you guys okay guys I'm back in fact I decided to cheat and uh, dupe some iron and in fact actually even uh, dupe the beacon just once so let's see here base level then we go yeah I'm just sticking it here because I don't have a good spot for it yet Yeah, I always uh, start out with the 3x3, three three, and then from there, I add the blocks. Yeah, for me, it makes more sense. That's just so that you don't. Oh. So that if you happen to, you you at least will have. One working beacon. Oh, okay. So. Yeah, let's uh, circle it around one more time. Yeah, absolutely fully powered. Just because a absolutely fully powered beacon is the best beacon to have. Now, I have been doing absolutely everything in this game in survival 
so I didn't go into creative and bring out uh, and bring more iron in utilizing game glitches is one of the few things that I really personally don't like doing too much but sometimes if you think about it, it becomes quite necessary especially when you uh, want to get certain things done all right and haste haste 2 activated <laughs> Ooh, we got haste 2 so the next step is a uh, taking this apart figuring out how we're going to store it uh, how we're going to store our things so but I'll probably do that in between episodes just so I can gather up all these resources and probably just build the uh, basic impulse SV item sorter it'll be so much easier in fact then also I can uh, take apart this, the shulker box splitter, and utilize the resources there. Change these all to one color and have a uh, call system. Be able to pull out X number of items because, well, I, uh, just a little bit ago I actually put a tutorial out on how to build one, but I might actually just end up uh, creating a uh, call system that requires a uh, one <laughs> yeah, I'll figure something out I'll bring you guys in afterwards but you guys this is the redstone wizard enjoy building